First up on today's mailbag from Richard Robinson. It's a super thanks. Dan Quinn was focused on head coach interviews. That's still McCarthy's fault. He's got to get the whole team and coaches ready and consistently fails. I don't see this getting better. Bring Jimmy back. Uh, for the record, Jimmy Johnson is, is not a real solution. But a new Jimmy, that's not him, I'd love to find him. They seem to only want to look at retreads. And that's not going to work. Also from Richard, this team is arrogant, delusional, and soft. Turf and Olympus playing victory parties and Dax saying he was stunned to prove it. No mental toughness and not as talented as everyone thinks. Um, I will say I was pretty stunned too, so I get that. But he's so right. If you don't know what he's talking about, Cavante Turpin and Sam Williams had planned a victory after party and had sent out that message before kickoff. Come on, guys. How bad of a look that is? Jeez. Unprepared. Ian Reed, or Reed, excuse me, uh, replaced Big Mike. I mean, these, by the way, these all came in before the, uh, the, the news of him saying, replaced Big Mike with Harbaugh, Ben Johnson, Slowaker Flores. All great names. They didn't do it. Jeffrey Dutton says, thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. You're seeing super thanks right now on the show. It is a feature on YouTube that allows you to, to, to donate outside of live videos. Click the thanks icon, edit your message to whatever it is, and send it in. We appreciate your support. Every super thanks will be a shout-out, even if it's you know a bit outdated, which is fine, because we want to give you guys the love. From Xavier Worthy Burner, I wonder if Big Mike went implement his old ideas and offensive scheme in the game plan so he could show up to Packers on the floor and have his show-off game. Because I noticed no deep balls, no outside runs. I know Gallup slowed down a lot, but I don't remember seeing a single goal ball. There was one to Cooks. And it was the, it was the classic Cowboys go ball of, ah, we, we're, we're feeling it. We got to take the, the shot play. I telegraph it. There were a couple seam balls to Fergie. What is the worst that can happen? It gets picked. You were already down by so much. I just wish I shot more effort on both sides of the ball. We need Belichick. Michael wouldn't be doing his podcast, and these players wouldn't be content with getting their effing ass handed to him on a, on a platter. You got guys saying that, that they got time for it on social media two, 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 two days after the playoff loss. You know, CeeDee Lamb said, uh, no one wanted it more than us. Eh, I think some guys on your team maybe didn't, didn't, feel, didn't feel the same way. Also, like, I think it was less of Mike wanted to show, off the, show, up, show up the Packers and more of a, he, it's a playoff game, he got tight, and he wanted to do the stuff he's comfortable with, and that's the stuff they got away from before the bye. Coaching failure. Justin, I'm starting to lean toward running back next year, uh, like with the new DC. Dak had his best season with Mike McCarthy. We'll have Diggs and Overshone back. If we can pick up a bruiser at running back, maybe we get another shot at a, at a one or a two seed. Restructure Dak, sign as many who, who we can are up. I think it's a good idea to go into the near rebuild. Maybe we had a two seed and near MVP season from the quarterback. What do you think? I get it. And I think if you hadn't gotten blown up, blown out, and if you had made it to at least the divisional round, I think that would have been a much more popular idea. I think you have to make decisions here about what you're going to do with your quarterback. Not just restructure Dak. It is time to pay him or rebuild. Because if you're trying to win now, you are not finding a better quarterback option. It's not happening. It's not realistic. It's not feasible. So what would you rather do? And I think both these options are fine with me. I'd rather that than just like do the same thing and expect different results, you know? W for win now. R for rebuild. It's the pinned comment on today's video. If the ad comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. From Marcus Arnold, thanks. This is probably came true. I don't think Jerry's going to fire Mike. He nailed it. Uh, I don't play Mike or Dan for loss. The offense is at slow starts and before and still won the game. The problem is we haven't played safeties in linebacker slots. The dam finally broke. There's a failure in team building, and the person that builds the team is the GM. We failed for 29 years because the GM has not changed in that time. Also rowdy, but also true on, on th this part. Um, you, you started slow against Tampa, too. The difference was your defense played well. It's the not great offense. The Bucks defense is better than their offense last year, by the way. And then you, the quarterback settled in and then cooked them. And the same thing actually kind of happened in this game against the Packers. It was just too little too late. And it was, it was even maybe a worse start with the, with the bad interceptions, which you can't have. But if you're, it, 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 honestly, if your defense had played well in that game, 
the way your offense got going in the, in the second half, it could have been Chargers-Jags. That's not to excuse a terrible first half effort. It is unacceptable what happened in that game. But I think Marcus is on to stuff here. The defense never showed up. The offense eventually did. And the GM keeps making the same, same mistakes over and over again. From Steven, a couple of fun questions to lighten the mood. First, who lays bigger eggs, ostriches or the Cowboys in the playoffs? My answer is the Cowboys because they're stadium-sized. There you go. Uh, Steven says, Aubrey's an alien. What is our, if Aubrey's an alien, what is our punter then? He's a good punter. That's what I got. Don't pay punters big money either. Punters, though, are less like less head cases than kickers, so they're, they're a little bit more stable year after year. From Ian Reed, Red, whatever it is, eat Dak $60 million next year if he may earn his extension. Great. If not, give the new, the new coach a chance to, to get his guy. I, I just, I, I, I just want to make my decision now. Because if, 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 you're, if you are like, ah, I don't know if Dak's the guy, okay, it's fine. Then you should just blow it up. Because you can't, you can't, you're not going to have success with $60 million. Like, if your quarterback on a $60 million cap hit does exactly what he did this season, the supporting cast is not going to be as good. You should, you should pay him. But if it's the same playoff six, no one's going to want to, and I don't blame them either. So I think you need to make your decision now. Because why wait? What, what are you going to benefit from waiting? From Hawkeyes, $50. Thank you, Hawkeyes. You two were great at the, at the scene with the commentary. Thank you, and please enjoy dinner on me. I do appreciate that, Hawkeyes. Look, we will be here all off-season as well. Not quite the same as the watch parties, but we'll still have weekly live shows for you. We'll still have updates. We'll still have news. We'll do free agency specials. We'll do NFL live draft coverage as well. It's my baby. Hit that sub button for more free Dallas Cowboys YouTube videos. Chris B, head coach next year is Jason Witten, Dion, Zimmer, or Marvin Lewis. The shitty part is I, I can't rule these out as options. I will say that it's, I, I actually, I can rule out Dion. It, it, it's not going to happen. Dion doesn't want to be an NFL head coach. The things that make him a potentially successful uh, college coach are not the things that make him a good NFL head coach. Just, it just, it's, let, let him be, be in college. And I think he can have a lot of success in college. I'm still in on, on the Dion train, uh, but not as a head coach. Chris B., I swear if they fire Mike during the season next year, there's no, be there's no benefit. There's, there's no, just let it play out. Don't, don't risk the new guy coming in and winning two games, helping your draft stock. Chris B., Kamara trade makes sense. It's a bad idea for a bad franchise. There we go. Trading for Alvin Kamara is, is a bad idea. Uh, there's no on-field and contractual reason that it actually makes sense for you. Now, today's show, once again, is made possible by prize picks. They are daily fantasy made easy. All you got to do is pick two to six player stat projections, more than or less than on said stat projections. Do the flex play, by the way. You just got to get two out of three right, three out of four right. It's a lower return, but better chance of actually getting them correct. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. Will Marshall keeping it 100 as fans, yes, we deserve our, a better product, but we are our own worst enemy. If Jerry looked out and saw empty seats, real change would be made. I think Will is correct, but we're Stockholm syndromed. And, and you could find a way to, to not go, and we, 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 everyone watching, everyone on sub could not go. There's still enough out there. We're Stockholm syndrome too far. It is the, it is the downside of being the most popular franchise. No matter what, they're going to be there. Sucks. Carl Coleman. It may have been personnel with Quinn. We were using safeties as linebackers, which is true. And maybe we feel differently if, you know, DeMarvin and Overshone didn't get hurt this year and Van Rush didn't get hurt too. But it's also on the DC to make adjustments. And he did show flashes of doing that. Like, he, he showed flashes. They ran the, that bare front where they used some of those three, four principles, which, by the way, you know, <laughs> Everyone wants to do 4-3, three, 3-4 three, stuff. Like they, the 4-3 under and over is the same thing. There's no difference. Like it, 
you have to be able to do the things. You kept doing too high safety stuff against 12 personnel. That doesn't make any sense. So, yes, personnel's a factor. Hey, so too was the way you played and, and the way you deployed your personnel. Jordan says, take Jeremiah Trotter, the Clemson linebacker, in round one. I don't love it. We will do draft targets, by the way, on the channel soon. Um, I, I like the player a lot. There's several linebackers I like. But I, I think if you take a linebacker in round one, you are drafting for need. I do not think it'll be the best player on the board. I think the guy you could get in round one, A, could be there for you in the second round. And B, the difference is very minimal because there, there is some very solid you know, day two-ish linebacker talent that I am down to add. I, I, I like Trotter. He's a good player. He'll be in my top three, I would guess, very early on, of course, linebacker rankings, but I would rather draft a more premium position. I think he's going to be a better player, more importantly, than a linebacker in, in round one. Who do you want to draft in the first round? Any player, any position, sound off for me in the comments right now. Gerald, I think, the, I think Benson from Florida State is the best back in the draft. It's Trey Benson, I probably would agree. Um, also not worth a round one pick. I think day two, early day three, kind of like linebacker, that's going to be your sweet spot. John Wall, pair character, doing a shaka sign with his hand, saying, cool. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Jose, it's, it's the emojis. They, 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 don't, they don't come through. Jose Ruiz. Who do you believe the Cowboys will be back from pending free agency season considering they love retaining talent? It'll be a full video. Um, I think Tyron Smith will come back if he wants to play. I don't think he's going to leave. I think, I think he enjoys it here. Um, they'll, they'll bring back some guys. We'll, we'll do the full video, but hey, you're, you're going to make some changes too. Chris B., this better be a fun draft. Wide receiver, cornerback, O-line for this BS. Needs to be a good draft. It needs to be a draft that helps you in 2024. It cannot be a developmental defensive tackle and a backup tight end with your first two picks. Not a way to win games when you're trying to win games now. Eric Bobbitt, Cowboys fans should mutually part ways with the Cowboys. I'm not watching a single game next year, but I will watch you guys. I have a, I would argue, a very favorable for me s s solution. Don't watch the games. Just watch us. Cowboys don't get credit for the views. We do. That is my compromise. So also, then I, don't, I don't, then I don't get fired. From Ryan, move back to a 3-4. In general, I think the 3-4, three, 4-3 four, four, three stuff is very much overblown. Um, you can ask, you're, you're, you're in nickel, you know, you've been, teams have been in nickel as the dominant personnel on defense for, since like 2017 or 16, something like that. Like that's when it flipped to 50%. So you've, you've been in nickel for half a decade. Like that's, that is the base defense. Now, if you want to have your heavy personnel look B3-4, I'm in. And they did some of that with Dan Quinn this year. Because again, you know, your 4-3 your, your under front is not any different than your 3-4 front. It, it's the same. I mean, it gets a little bit overblown. You have the nose right if you make Mozzie fat again. You have personnel to fill those typical 3-4 spots. It's just, are you going to run it at the proper times? And are your box players going to read and react properly? I'm, I'm, I'm out there watching, and I'm not to be mean to... Damone Clark, but I'm out there watching Damone Clark just run the, the wrong way. That's not being safeties at linebacker. It's that your number one typical linebacker who's like 240, by the way, isn't in the right spot. Instincts weren't there. That's concerning to me. So what's your confidence level in the Cowboys right now? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1, the low end. 10, the high end. Chris B., is it possible to extend Dak maybe only two years, not five? Does Dak want to do it? Because Dak has all the leverage in the world. Let me maybe be more specific. His agent has all the leverage in the world. They, they can play hardball if they want. Because guess what's going to happen? Dak can have the exact same year he did this year, maybe even a little bit worse where he's you know pro war but not all pro, and... The, the checkbooks, are they're going to be throwing money at Dak Prescott like he's on the dance floor. Because other NFL teams are desperate for what you have. 
Doesn't mean it's going to work here with this regime and this situation with Dak, and that's fine. But other teams would love it. They would love it. They would happily make him the highest paid quarterback ever. That's why you messed up five years ago by not doing the deal you, when you should have done it. You would have never been in this spot, and you've set yourself up for failure because you don't make the aggressive move when you need to. A.J. Medell, running scheme and O-line have to be fixed before something any back to thrive. I completely agree. That's why I don't want to pay backs big money or draft them super early because they're too dependent on the supporting structure around them more so than other positions. Chris B., Tom, your best guess for head coach next year. Old retread, new. It's a retread. They, they, they weren't going to look at newer guys. They were going to do, do the retread route. So until they don't do, do that, it's like, it's like one of the posts. Until they prove me wrong, I'm going to base it all on, on the previous seasons. Lance Dunbar's burner, purely for the LOLs. What ex-cowboy likes to become a part of the Cowboys coaching staff? I'll go first, myself. Uh, the correct answer here is Sean Lee. I would love to have Sean Lee as my linebacker's coach. Shit, I'm, I might make him DC. Like, I would love to have Sean Lee on the staff. And that's not even for the LOLs. Dead serious. I think, I think he'd make a great coach if he wants to, to do it. 